We've got a bunch of deals for you. Some of them are really, really good. Make sure you stick around for all these deals coming up. Now, one of the first deals that I saw on Amazon is actually, I'm not sure if it's even a Prime Day deal, but this is the Leatherman style that Leatherman seems to have phased out, but it is still on Amazon and is now only $49. Now, they said it was something like $86, which I think is pretty ridiculous for a small a keychain essentially tool, but you do have scissors. You've got this file, sort of like a screwdriver on the end there. Then you can buy this attachment on eBay to make it a bed driver on this with this clip at the bottom. Then you've got the plier head and so forth. So if you want a Leatherman style before they are all gone, uh, you do have this pair of tweezers as well. Make sure you jump on the Amazon and get this deal. Now, the next deal that I saw on Amazon is actually a Leatherman Wave bundle where you get the Leatherman Wave Plus. This is a fantastic tool packed with all kinds of features. Most of you probably are familiar with it, but you get the Wave Plus. You get, it looks like, the full bit kit and then you get the bit adapter as well. So that is all for the price of an original Leatherman Wave or the Leatherman Wave Plus at $119. So you essentially get the bit kit and the adapter for free, so to speak, today only. So make sure that, or the, uh, the rest of tonight and tomorrow only, make sure during Prime Day you snatch this up if you want a Leatherman Wave, because it's probably one of the best deals you'll see. Before we jump back into the multi-tools, I wanted to just put a plug for the Ace Beam Rider RX700. This is almost half off on Amazon, coming in at $29. That's even better than I paid for it just a couple weeks ago. Fantastic tool. I told the whole dropped in the washer during the storm story. It was stuck in my washing machine. I fished it out, still works great. I love this light. Titanium flashlight for $29. I bought this with my money. This is not a promotion or anything for the company. They didn't send me anything. I think this is a fantastic light for $29. Make sure to check it out. Now, if you want something to put your multi-tool in, this next sheath looks very interesting. This is the Jack and Chris sheath for, it looks like this is $8.79, and then they have a coupon to take 20% more off. I actually plan to pick this one up, try it out, see how it is, and I'll get back with you. If you're interested, you can pick it up, or you can wait till I do the review. I'm a pretty big fan of the Leatherman Raptor style scissors. I'm just not sure if I'm a $100 fan or an $80 fan. So there is a pair of luminescent handled Leatherman Raptor style scissors with it looks like the holster, which I think may be luminescent to some extent glow in the dark as well for $29. Might be something to check out. There are just the normal Leatherman Raptor sort of knockoff scissors for about $20. It's up to you. Might be something interesting as well. Another couple good deals I saw on Amazon was actually SOG Multi-Tools, which may not surprise you, but the Power Access, I find a lot of value because of its very lightweight frame. This comes in at $39, and then the Power Access Deluxe, a SOG tries to compare it to the Wave. It's not really a competitor that much, but they try to compare it. It's around $42. You get two extra longer tools in the handle. That is something that I think is a pretty good deal right now as well. Next tool also has its nine in one mini multi-tool on sale, a couple dollars off at $15. You get the scissors, a couple screwdrivers, and then you get this keychain multi-tool with the pliers. I think that's a pretty good deal as well. A lot of these mini multi-tools are creeping up to the $30 mark, so $15 seems to be a pretty fair price. And this is the one they advertise as essentially travel ready since there is no knife blade on it. Might be a good time to prepare for next summer picking up a multi-tool you can carry with you some places. 
This is another exciting deal, the Rock Tool. This has now dropped from around the $50 mark to $43. Now this right here has the VG10 blade. I would say it's like the poor man's Leatherman Arc to some extent, or the poor man's Leatherman Charge probably to be more accurate. But this is one of the top level Leatherman Wave clones at the moment, and at $43, that definitely makes it a better deal. Byberry has their Monster Multi-Tool Surge Clone, their BI-2045, marked down to $34. This does come with your bit kit, it does come with re your replaceable cutters, and it also comes with a couple saw blades as well as your sheath, all for $34. It's hard to get better than that. I mean, for $34, this is a tremendous work tool. Really, really good option. I had the pocket clip to this. It doesn't come with this, but it does come with a sheath. So great deal. If you've already got the Byberry Surge Clone, why not get the Wave Clone from Byberry as well with the same gold and black tuxedo matching implements right here. This also comes with a smaller bit kit and then it also does come with a sheath as well, all for the price of $29. Pretty cool. Now, Flissa is offering a couple color options with their multi-tools, brown, green, black, I think silver as well for around the $23 to $25 mark. These will look pretty cool, but I would actually steer you toward the Byberry, the B1238A for $23 as well. Usually with just the stainless steel, the implements work a little bit better. And I think I would trust that one a little bit more. You get the three bits with that and the sheath, which I think is a better option. There's a ton of wave clones out there, but between that Byberry and this one right here, I think these are actually better options. And then if you want to upgrade, I would definitely jump into the rock tool as well. I think that's a pretty exciting option. I do like it. It is a little bit heavy for what I like to carry at the moment. But if I was carrying a wave style tool, I would definitely be happy to carry this as well. So unfortunately, these are only a tiny bit of the options that are available during Amazon Prime Day. I don't want to overload you, but these are some of the highlights that I found. Now, there's a ton more exciting gear on there, but I think we'll leave it at that. Let me know what you found. What are the best deals that you have caught this year?